first up, why don't you tell me uh, who your character is on Scarlet Rose and what brought you to this production? Well, I'm playing the role of Rose Tucci, and I was originally introduced to the production through Alistine and Facebook, um, where I'd seen the description that they were looking to fill, and I was like, every time they went down with like another like you know item that they require where it's like you know um, ideal for the character, I was like, oh well, let's check, check, check. Cool. This kind of sounds exactly like me. Um, so I thought, well, let's give it a try. So same as the other ones, you know, I sent in, you know, my headshot, my resume and all the information and, um, and got the response. And I'd have to say from the first second that I was able to start working with Alex, I have been so in love with this project because she's so passionate about it and just, it, it pulls everyone right into it. It's so much fun. It's so much fun to work on something that everyone cares so earnestly about. Like they love what they do and we all get to put it together in this show. Yep. And passion projects are the thing that I've worked on the most as well. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I do like being on higher paid productions and stuff like that, but I feel like the passion projects are the ones that really, you know, feel the most earnest and the most satisfying. And yes. You know, like it's so much fun to give your all and you, you know, at our, a part of our job is to give your all, um, to whatever you are doing. And if you get paid for it, that's ph phenomenal. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. great. But I mean, still, when you feel so earnestly about something that you're able to give more than you thought you had, you know, there, that takes you to a new level of high. It's so, so incredibly uh, enriching for yourself and satisfying, you know, as, as an actor or whatever, you know, element or facet that you're working yeah. on with the project. Yeah, especially, I mean, you've obviously had a chance to be on the acting side and the people I've talked to so far on the crew side all have the same thing to say. You know, it's, it's just fun to be out here. We're mm -hmm. family and, you know, we just want to be here. That's been the main theme and, and it's awesome it's it's amazing to see that out of a whole group of people well everyone in this project is so fun I mean like not only are they good at what they do they do they love what they do but they're so wonderful to be around they're great people so that makes this project so fun just to get here so we can start you know hanging out spending time getting ready you know whether the camera is rolling or off we yeah. are having the best time ever cool and so without giving too much away because we can't do that. Can't we do can't that. do that. <laughs> can, can you give us a little taste of of your character, like who she is? Um, I like to relate. Rose in my own mind, I've related Rose to um, some of the, uh, the same struggles that most people go through. Is that everyone's got demons that they fight, you know, and everybody um, has knowingly or unknowingly gotten themselves into something that is not a good situation. You know, and very often people can get in deeper than they're able to handle themselves. And I think a lot of times in that situation, they can get written off. Yeah. But the beautiful thing about this is that you, you realize that nobody is worth forgetting about or writing off. That people do need a helping hand to be able to pull through some of the hardest times of their life. And that's one of, I think, the deep elements of this story that I've fallen in love with. I mean, there's so many beautiful <laughs> special effects and scenery and the costumes and the, you know, all of the, the makeup and FX and everything. There's, it's so tastefully and incredibly well done. But this underlying story is that there's this, this element of, of need that we all have. And maybe it's not to the extreme that you are going to see in Scarlet Rose, but everybody needs help yep. with certain things in their life nobody should have to go through something alone or be given up on everybody can come through and there's always hope in the future no matter how dark it looks cool and is this your first period piece um i would have to say i usually get more drawn towards like that period style okay. um i think i do have that kind of a look but i mean i grew up watching um a whole lot of classic films I love watching, you know, black and whites. I love watching film noir, big musicals. I love foreign films throughout the decades. And, um, you know, BBC has such wonderful period pieces that they do. You know, Jane Austen's always been a big favorite of mine. And it's so much fun to get to see this played out in real life, to get to step back into it. I do a lot of um, reenactments, okay. both World War One and World War II styles. And being able to 
recreate or step back into that time has the most sensational feeling because you can watch it on a screen yep. but being able to step into it and experience it you know 3d it's so incredible and i mean the outfit looks very well put on and it comes together so well they put so much time and thought into everything that they do cool and so that being said has, has there been a mo more challenging part about this production than what you originally thought um the um the original side that alex sent me to record and send back in kind of let me in on exactly how hard <laughs> this was going to be because when you have a central character that is going through so much i mean that's something like i said that everyone can relate to in one way or another to yep. some a certain degree and that deserves to be played so sincerely and so truly you know that i think that's the struggle is making sure that you can honestly um you know connect with the people who are feeling the same things in this care in this case i am trying to ha connect with rose and know what is she going through especially back in that time she didn't have a lot of resources there weren't so what was her struggle to get from beginning to end gotcha what was her her thought process what was her her emotional struggle and the word around the campfire is this is <laughs> a very unique <coughs> script like the script itself is very unique the filming is very unique a lot of stuff is very unique and yes a lot of stuff you don't necessarily see in you know Hollywood anymore is uniqueness everything is just rehashed of everything else so, right. or so homage or whatever yep you know, so when you're actually filming this you know, do you feel that? Do you kind of feel the uniqueness like you've never seen something like this done before? That's a good point, too, because when you when you're doing something that you've seen before, you always have like a benchmark to go off or like a you know, like this idea of like this is where we, we start. and Where do we go from there? This is kind of almost like the idea of creating, you know, a <clears throat> a brand new musical because you're you've got this whole new um rhythm this whole new um you know pattern that you've got to create yourself <laughs> so right. it's 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 been exciting yeah. i'd say that's probably one of the more exciting elements is that it's something you can take from the whiteboard and throw into color you know in front of the lens cool um has there been a uh favorite part of production so far either a certain scene or a certain... oh my gosh <laughs> I literally can't tell you how much fun we've had on this um, I played like every high and every low you can imagine <laughs> and um, and I, so I would have to say one of the funnest um, aspects is probably the interaction or the chemistry between characters because again I think that uh, is representative of the fun that we're having on this show because I think there's there's all of that creative element all of the, the beautiful aspects and so forth and the sets and designs but what we do like the vision that Alex has and when she gives it to us you know what what we're able to take with it and the, the same thing even with Tristan coming in and his you know um, his focus and angling I mean like all of a sudden it's an entire dance between the direction you know the, the story the direction the angle and the lighting and then this chemistry between the characters it's probably it's 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 hard to pick a point because this is the excitement the fun that we're having from beginning to end cool so it sounds like you're definitely ready to see this thing on the giant screen right? I you're, can't you're... wait I can't wait everyone's worked so hard and every time like we go and we rewatch like little bits you, you sit there and you're going who oh, oh my gosh <laughs> you know because again the it's so beautiful to look at yep and obviously you're filming the end today like the ending of the mm -hmm. whole movie yep. um are you kind of excited for that? Are you kind of like, oh man, this is the end? Or, you know, I I think it's it's um, it's it's helpful maybe going through that 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 culmination of a project before it's actually finished. So in yeah. your mind, you get that feeling of like closure, but it's not over yet. So yeah. we've um, gone through a lot with the filming already. So I mean, I do have a good feel of, you know, what she's you know come through already. Yep. And we'll go back and, you know, re-haunt that a few times. But um, to have that end point in sight is yep. cool. 
Yeah, at least you didn't get the script in pieces like some companies have, and that way you don't know what's going to happen. Right, But at least right. you got it all at once and kind of at least had a general mm-hmm. understanding instead of being like, oh my god, I didn't realize this was how it was going to end. And Alex's script is amazing. I mean, from beginning to end, and the way that she's, you know, developed it is so much fun. It's so beautifully thought out. Cool. Well, this has been fun. It's been a blast. Thank you very much for sitting down with me. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.